You have to just let it go. But I, I like, um, I, you know, I, I live in London with two friends. One of the major decisions I made in my 20s was I decided that I've, I've lived on my own a long time and the skirting boards were immaculate. <laughs> Somehow my soul was still in tatters. Uh, I can't understand it. I lived above some very fetching garages in Swindon. <laughs> but something was missing. Uh, so we just moved in with two mates and it's a real struggle now. I'm still trying to not let shit bother me uh, because I care about them, they're nice people, they're happy people, they're friends I picked because I thought they would rub off on me, they're happy, nice people. The easiest way to describe them is that they are adult males who eat cereal at night time. <laughs> I've never seen it done in my life before. The first time they did, they're skipping from work and go, ooh, chocolate Weetos. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> you can't eat chocolate Weetos now. You're an adult, have some olives. <laughs> And they say, oh, I don't like olives. You go, nobody likes olives. <laughs> That's not the point of the olive. You don't eat olives because they're nice. They're horrible, aren't they? You eat them to punish yourself for having survived this long. <laughs> That's the purpose of the olive. We give sweet, colourful food to the children, and then when we get older, we shove whoring pellets of death <laughs> into our face. It's not that it's an acquired taste. Children are just more honest. If you gave an olive to a child, it'd go, what the f... <laughs> are you trying to poison me? Piece of shit, I'm watching you. And we eat them and we pretend we like them because we've marinated them in so much other shit you can't taste the olive anymore. There's chilli and lemon zest and herbs and dog shit and anything. And then when you get older still, you squeeze the oil out of the olive so you can dip bread in it. Mmm, the blandest of foods dipped in the slimiest. Mm. <laughs> How was your anniversary meal? What did you have for main course? I was too full for main course because I had a lot of slimy bread at the beginning. <laughs> But they don't do that. They eat, um, they eat cereals when they get in. And, you know, they're, they're nice people. I really... I'm, I'm trying to make sure that I don't kill them. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to, however, because of things they do which are clearly wrong. Now, I don't want to say they're clearly wrong, because clearly there's no right or wrong way of doing certain things. Uh, are you two, are you two a, a, a couple? Yeah. A sex, sex couple? <laughs> <laughs> a, little, a little bit. Just a little bit. Every now and again. Just while she's asleep. Um, how long have you been together? Six months. Six months? Oh, very new. Hence the excitement. Yeah, go out, I watch theatre, come with me. <laughs> and that really disappears after about a year, doesn't it? I thought we could go to... I thought we could stay the fuck in. <laughs> That's what I thought I could do. I work all week, don't I? Um, oh, good. Well, I mean, uh, all the best. Uh, I assume you don't, you don't live together then after six months. And have you... Well, I mean... You don't want to be asked now on a DVD recording, do you? <laughs> when that's going to happen. And you look to the side there as if to go, I'm so glad we sat a row behind. <laughs> do you two live together? How long have you two lived together? Uh, more than six months. More than six months. And how is it living together? <laughs> it's a real tension, isn't there? <laughs> There's a lot going on here. That I really don't have time to get into it because I have to talk about other stuff. But we can talk afterwards. I'll help you. <laughs> I'm really a giver in terms of relationship advice. I advise you to just leave. <laughs> My relationship history is dreadful because I think as soon as it stops being perfect, I just want to leave straight away. You know, initially, like six months, it's still you wake up in the morning, you're like, oh, how did you sleep? Not much, because I was watching you, because I love you. Oh, let's... <laughs> let's have sex again. Yeah, brilliant, great idea. Just look to the side. Um... <laughs> It's amazing, that bit, but then that bit ends and you have to deal with it. I just can't do that. I think you should leave as soon as it's not perfect. So as soon as you wake up and they go, how did you sleep? No, oh, not very well. Oh, fine, you dumped. Whatever. Because <laughs> then it... And it's not like that. It's just you have to take it day to day. But here's... How, how do you split your chores in your house? You're just not even answering the question. That's how little you do in the house. <laughs> I just don't do the questions or the hoover and you answer this. You tell them you do everything because it makes me look bad. Do you do most of the stuff? You get the kids to do it. Ah, oh, well, it's cheaper than a slave, isn't it? <laughs> do they do everything? Some. Some. They clearly do it badly, though, they're children. Would you not rather just do it? That seems like a nightmare to me to have a child do something and then have to have that debate whether to tell them they've got it wrong and crush their soul <laughs> or be grateful and deal with the fact they haven't really done it. They're just the right height for skirting boards. They're the right height for skirting boards. Oh. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, you applaud. <laughs> you applaud the audience when I've been busting my fucking balls. <laughs> yeah. How was the gig? Yeah, he was all right. We was fucking brilliant. We was. 
<laughs> We've done a few jokes, yeah, really good. I think we're going to go on tour next year, actually, as an audience. <laughs> Charge comedians to sit on a stage and watch us, cos we fucking nailed that gig. <laughs> well done. Uh, we'll have to keep that in now, you prick. <laughs> <laughs> First DVD and I've relinquished control already. 